Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on how to make your very own camping game. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make an exit button so players can leave the join queue. For setup, I've already put a screen GUI inside of starter GUI named exit, and inside of that I have a text button with some of the looks changed and visible set to false. I've also added in a remote event, which is what we'll be firing so the server knows to reload the player. So inside of the screen GUI, let's add in a local script, and we're going to define our event as equal to game.replicatedStorage, which brings us to right here. And then we're going to wait for child, in case it hasn't loaded in yet, exit to teleport. We're then also going to define our folder as equal to workspace, which is right here. And then we're going to wait for child to teleport. We're then going to detect whenever a character is added into the to teleport folder. So folder dot child added colon connect function and then child. We can then check if the child's name is equal to the player's name by doing an if statement. So if child.name is equal, and we're doing a double equal because we're evaluating game.players.localPlayer, which is our player, dot name, then, and if this evaluates it true, it's our player that just got added into Q, we can set script.parent.text button, which is our button right here, dot visible equal to true. So now if we play our game really quickly, you can see that when we join the car, the exit button shows up, but it doesn't do anything when we click it. So let's do that now. We can get our exit button once more by doing script.parent.text button, and then we can detect our clicks. So dot mouse button one click, colon connect, function, and then let's enter. So this will run every single time that the button is clicked. We can then fire off our event by doing event, colon, fire server. Now we have to create a script inside of server script service that will be able to do the action that the client requests. So we can define our event the same exact way as we did in our local script. And then we can do event dot on server event colon connect function PLR. So this will run every single time that the event is fired off and we can refer to the player that fired it off as PLR. Then all we have to do is PLR colon load character which will respawn their character and it'll be parented to workspace instead of our folder right here. So if we hit play and we walk over to our queue and go into it our exit button shows up and if we click exit we're out of it again. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was please leave a like and maybe even subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.